Hello everyone. Here is an interesting question to solve. What is the value of square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 which goes on till infinity? So this expression having infinite terms, will it have a finite number as the answer? Let's check out. So first, let's call this entire expression as x or y or any variable, right? Now friends, you can't proceed much until we get rid of this outermost square root sign over here. So how do we get rid of that? Yes, by simply squaring on both the sides. So let's do that. So squaring on both the sides, let's see what we end up with. So this outermost square root sign just vanishes away and we are left with 12 plus. Now this entire thing remains as it is. So let's just copy it down as it is. Square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus let's just write one more term here. Anyway, it goes on till infinity. And what happens to the right hand side? This becomes x square. Now friends, let's just check if there is anything common between this expression and this expression. Just check it out friends. You can pause the video if you want and check. So friends, as you may have observed, this entire expression over here, see square root of 12 plus square root of 12, which goes on and on till infinity is the same as this expression over here. Just have a look, square root of 12 plus square root of 12, which also continues till infinity. And we have called this expression as x. So can I also call this expression as x? Yes, we can, only because these two expressions are one and the same. So we can say that we'll get 12 plus, now this entire thing, I'm going to replace it by x equal to x squared. So friends, this is the most important step in this question because we started with an expression which had infinite terms and even nested roots. So these are nested roots, friends. See, you have a square root which is inside another root, which is inside another root. These are called nested roots. And now we have ended up with an expression which apparently has no infinite terms and no nested roots. Now from here, it's going to be very easy. We just have to transfer all the terms to the other side. So we'll get 0 here, x square minus x minus 12. Now I find it better if they are all to this side. So I'll just rearrange it as x square minus x minus 12 equal to 0. So friends, as you can see, this is a quadratic equation and we can easily factorize it, right? Now this 12 can be easily factorized as 4 multiplied by 3. So let's do that. We can write it as x square minus, say, 4x plus 3x. So minus 4x plus 3x will give me minus x and minus 4 into 3 will give me minus 12. So that's very easy. So friends, let's take out whatever can be taken out common. So we'll get x minus 4 here plus 3 into x minus 4 over here. Let's solve it further. We'll get x plus 3 into x minus 4 equal to 0. Now this means that x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to 4. See friends, so we got two values of x, either x is minus 3 or x is equal to 4. Now what is this x in the first place? Yes, it is this entire expression. Now friends, let's just think, can this expression be negative? Can it take the value minus 3? Now as you can see here, you have a square root of a positive number plus square root of another positive number and this goes on till infinity. So you're just having roots of positive numbers which are added. So will it ever be negative? No, it will not be negative. So we are going to straight away reject this value of x as minus 3. We are going to accept x as 4. So that means this entire expression is nothing but 4. So friends, you just saw that this infinite root question indeed has a finite number as the answer. So this is how you can solve this type of question. So friends, you can go ahead and try out this particular question, which is also of the same type, infinite root question. And do let me know your answers in the comment section below. 
If you found this video useful, do like and share the video. Do consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.